What's up, ladies and gents? Welcome to my walkthrough for Splinter Cell Chaos Theory on the PlayStation 2. This is a completely different game than the Xbox and PC version. Same levels, same audio, same cutscenes. However, the interiors of those levels, the layout, the sections, they're all completely different. So it is almost essentially playing a completely brand new Splinter Cell game. So make sure you smash that thumbs up button, leave a like, watch for as long as you can on each one of these videos to help the algorithm out, and comment below what is your favorite Splinter Cell game. With that being said, hopefully you enjoy. We're going to be doing it on the hardest difficulty and stealthy as possible while achieving 100% with as little of knockouts as each mission will allow us. Those are the parameters, and it's go time. like a Chinese Jiangwei class cruiser with a North Korean destroyer escort. <laughs> Events in the Yellow Sea took a turn for the worse today when North Korean and Chinese forces blockaded and boarded a Japanese cargo ship. The North Korean government released no official statement, and their ambassador remained out of contact. While at the UN, Chinese Ambassador Long Dan urged the US and her longtime Japanese allies to remain calm, calling the blockades a legitimate response to what the rest of Asia views as a possible remilitarization of Japan. This blockade is an act of war. The NSC is working on a formal response, and they've ordered the USS Walsh to close at flank speed. The Walsh is the most advanced spy ship in history. My best man will be on board. Chinese and North Korean ships working together again. It's what we expected. That's a 056 prototype, Chinese. Exactly. How are your sea legs? I haven't lost them. Good. Because the 056 prototype isn't the only new fish in the pond. Admiral Toshiro Otomo, head of Japan's newly formed Information Self-Defense Force, had this to say. This is another distressing attempt by China and North Korea to further depress our faltering economy. The ISDF and Japan appeal to our allies for the military support promised us under the post-war constitution of 1946. The fact remains that in the eyes of many in Asia, the ISDF itself is a violation of the post-war constitution prohibiting Japan from maintaining a military force capable of striking beyond its borders. In Asia, the memories of Imperial Japan are still fresh. kidnapped by a Peruvian separatist group called the People's Voice. Their suspected leader, Hugo Lacerda, is a hardcore revolutionary preaching information warfare as the only realistic means to achieve revolution in modern society. We need you to get in there and recover or destroy any information Morgenholt may have been forced to divulge, 
and if possible, rescue him. As for Lacerda, he's just been bumped onto our target of opportunity list. So if you have a shot, take it. Hostage rescue isn't normally our bag, but Morgan Holt was part of Project Watson, the UN committee that studied Philip Mass's handiwork after Georgia. Some people are worried that this kidnapping is just a cover-up, and that Morgan Holt is being interrogated for classified information about the Mass colonels. Fact is that some of the tricks Mass came up with could be used to do a lot of damage. We need to contain that information at all costs. The target area is a lighthouse attached to an abandoned Spanish colonial-era fortification and some nearby structures. We don't have an exact location on Morganholt, so you'll have to find him yourself. Insertion will be at night by Zodiac onto the beach beneath the fort. Thermal imaging shows that there are some old natural and semi-natural caves under the fort, so you may be able to use those for infiltration. All right, Fisher. The helicopter will drop you a few kilometers offshore in the Zodiac. You'll have one of my Zodiacs and logistical support in and out of the target area. Extraction will be by helicopter from the top of the lighthouse. This place International holds the contract with Wright Pritchard Technologies to protect their VIPs in potentially hostile situations. We did a thorough threat evaluation for their project in Peru, and we accepted the VIP detail on Morgan Holt. The guys who came after him knew what they were doing. This was not a tourist grab. I lost three good men in the snatch, and I'm currently preparing a rescue plan for approval from Morgan Holt's family and Wright Pritchard. This is going to cost this place a lot of money. All right, ladies and gents, we're going to be going with the stealth loadout, of course, and let's go time. All right, here you go. As you can see, this area is definitely already different than the... Xbox and PC version. We are going to be using a lot of night vision, and that's just something we have to do because the lighting is not as good as those other versions. Therefore, it's a lot darker to see. Um, and I don't want to take away the I awesomeness of the game, so there, we will Fisher. unfortunately have to Everything use a lot of right? it. It's coming from up ahead, but Lambert, when I think Gorilla, I think Kalashnikov. What do you mean? I've had enough AKs fired at me in my time to tell you that wasn't one. All right. See if there's anything unusual going on with their equipment. And keep us posted. Smugglers? See, they probably had all sorts of secret passages and tunnels down here. Come on. There is no under area that you can go to that I normally do when I do this level. You have to actually do it, um like this and when you even go in here you'll see that it's a little bit different the guy that was normally in that underside on the xbox version is no longer there he is here i think you're right about the equipment sam yeah they got themselves a little stockpile of high-tech kit here Try and find out where they got it. See if those crates have SSCC barcodes on them and scan them with your EEV. The SSCC code is lot one of five. See if you can find the other four. I'll do my best. No! You can see there's no bar that you can climb and do uh, unique takedowns from in the PlayStation 2 version. Don't you think he's had enough? He's had enough when he can't talk. Don't matter with the deals. He hasn't been able to speak for an hour. Who could be faking it? No! <laughs> All the audio is exactly the same. Wait a minute, kiss. 
His ears. Look. Smoke. I think I'm going to be ill. I think he's dead. <laughs> Only one way to be sure. <sighs> I'm going for a walk. Fortunately, there's no way to save him. And you, what you want to do is you want to wait right here until you see this guy start to move. Once you see him turn, then you can grab this. We leave no gadgets behind, right? It doesn't sound too good down there, Fisher. The sound isn't the problem. You should smell it. You're sure he's dead? Deader than Elvis. All right. Leave the body. We still need to recover any traces of the interrogation. Grim, we'll call you back. Sam, it's Grim. We need to make sure that whatever Morgan Holt might have told them about Mass's algorithms never leaves this site. Okay. I detected a wireless link coming from the technician who left the room before you entered. So I'll need to recover any data he might have uploaded to their servers. Exactly. Grab the third one here. At this point you can go ahead and move up. There is a secret From entrance over here. It, these gorillas have a pretty temporary setup. Seems unlikely they have any kind of alarm system on location. Good. This will allow you to bypass two enemies. There's just really one section that you're bypassing by going this way. It's a huge open area with two enemies. So before, you had an area where you could either go downstairs or you could go upstairs. Um, and then you would go to the place where there's like uh, someone sleeping in a fireplace. You're going to see that fireplace up ahead, but you can see it's completely laid out differently as, as what we're doing right now compared to the Xbox, which I just love that fact. It's one of the reasons why I really wanted to go over this edition and give you guys something new that you've never seen on the channel. Now, normally when you would come out of this room, uh, say in the Xbox edition, you would go into this little kind of like a bridge area above the earlier area, and that's how you would get to where this next guy is. However, here you're going to go essentially down this uh, corridor all the way to the other side into that same room. We can uh, not take this guy out, so you need to scan the fourth crate here, and we're going to do a little whistle, which is going to distract this guy to come over here. There's no other way to distract him. That's so here we go. Whistle. Crates, Sam. Keep your eyes peeled for the last one. That server is probably the one that the technician transferred Morgan Holt's information to. What do I this do? quickly. You'll have to access it and scrub the data. Good work, Sam. That wiped whatever information Morgan Holt might have given them. As you don't have a lot of time before he turns around. I wonder what happened to it. It was easy enough to make your little intrusion look like a memory allocation error. Don't worry, we give you the best tools. And we got another pick lock, and then we're going to head into the third and final area. These levels are now not just one big level. I think there was only like one level in the game in the original Xbox version that you actually had to load into the second part of the level. Here they're like, they're all split up by different sections. Grab the final one. Good work, Fisher. If we can analyze the intelligence you gathered from those crates, we can make a lot of people's jobs a whole lot safer. How come no one ever does things to make my job safer? If you want me to hire some more analysts to interpret information for you, I can do that. Second thought, the danger's not so bad. Now remember before, you could actually go on this zip line if you're able to get there quick enough. There's no zip line in the PS2 version. And there's a guard here where there was not a guard in down in this area before. So I'll do a lot of comparisons.
between these two versions, just so you guys know. You can sneak by this guy here, just go immediately to the right, don't worry about him. And you can move a little quick because there's enough sound to not, uh, to mask, to mask you. Here you need to wait a little bit, there's one guard here. Don't get too far ahead. He's gonna do this tiny little turnaround of his head. So you need to wait until he does this little turnaround. There it is. And then you can go. Stick to the right side. And you should be good to go. We don't need to mess with this guy. We're just going to go ahead and grab this here. Otherwise, you can listen to him, and I think you'll get the same thing. Maria Narcissa. You're not trying to set me up on another blind date, I hope. The Maria Narcissa is a boat. So was the last girl you set me up with. Fisher. Sorry. The Maria Narcissa is a cargo ship owned and operated by Celestinia Inc., a Portuguese shipping company, registered in the Philippines, cross-Pacific freight contracts. Lots of details missing. Sounds suspicious. Sounds like I'm setting you up for another date after all. Can't wait to meet her. Fisher, your primary objectives are complete. We can extract you whenever you're ready. You'll need to signal for a helicopter pickup from the top of the lighthouse. Make sure the light is out first. Will do. I know that light is blinding. There we go. Kind of have to do a whole turnaround to get to him, but you can do it. Have to take him out, he is the mandatory. And there you go, you have completed the lighthouse level on the PlayStation 2 version of Splinter Cell Chaos Theory. Let's see how we did. All right, so as you can see, Opportunity Objectives, scan the SCC bar crates, SSCC. We did not complete the Eliminate Hugo Lacerda because you don't do that in this mission, and the canceled for the Rescue Morgan Holt because there's no way to complete that. And there you go, ladies and gents. Only one enemy knockout, and again, that is mandatory. It's the Lighthouse guy. There's no way to be able to extract without taking him out. 100% rating. I hope you guys enjoy this. Make sure you smash that thumbs up again. Again, comment below. Let me know what your favorite Splinter Cell game is. Have you ever played the PlayStation 2 version? Let me know in the comments below as well. And which of these versions do you like better? Uh, so a lot of loaded questions in there, but I want to see some good interaction on the channel. Otherwise, make sure you check out all the other Splinter Cell walkthroughs that we have on the channel. There are quite a few, and uh, we just love stealth. But we love all types of games, so if you're just a fan of gaming, thank you so much. Subscribe to us on Twitch. You know, Sinistrain01 is the handle over there. Twitter, all the social medias, Discord, you know, join our Discord. All those links are in the description, so make sure you check those out. Other than that, we'll see you on the next one. Peace out.